All right, so just so you guys know, there is a Man Cave Tool Store. The link is in the description below. You can get a hat, shirt, hoodie, long sleeve shirts, mugs, stickers, and a whole assortment of stuff. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. All right, so ready, go. And ladies and gentlemen, the Husky broke. This is YouTube gold right there. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna answer a lot of comments right now that were completely negative towards me and people just going crazy over a certain situation. So I have a lot of comments saying that there is no difference besides duration between this and this. There are more cells in this battery than there are in this battery. Now, because this has less cells, this is not able to use the power that's already there because it's straining the batteries, the few cells that are in there to do the task. All right, so this is not gonna go to zero if you drive in a six inch lag. All right, you're still gonna have like three bars, uh, four or three bars left after that lag because the cell, the extra cells inside are uh, less strained. All right, so it will do it, it'll actually do it a lot better than the two amp hour will. So I also have comments saying it doesn't matter what cells are in there. They say 21,700 cells performs the exact same as 18,650 cells. That's also wrong. All right, the 21,700 cells will majorly outperform the 18,650 cells. That, that, that's a fact. That is a fact. The 21,700 cells have more power and they're better. So this is gonna be a long episode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a timestamp per tool that you want, if you just want to fast forward and see what the what tool you want to see. So we're going to do every brand that I have, uh, and we're, we are, this is going to be a very long video, just so you guys know. So here's the timestamp. We are going to use Cobalt, because I haven't used Cobalt in a little while. So I do want to use the Cobalt brand, so Cobalt is first. We're going to be using the Cobalt, the Cobalt XTR brushless hammer drill. Sorry, this is not about the tool. This is about the battery. So model numbers will not be said in this video. I have plenty of other videos. You should go check them out of all these tools. All right, so we have that on drill. It's on drill. We are going to drive in a one and a half inch hole with a two amp hour battery. Right here should be good. All right, so this is a two amp hour battery. So ready, go. A two amp power was not able to drive that in. Let's see if the four amp power ultimate run can. It's on speed two, ready, go. It did it, time. All right, really quickly, let's see if the regular four amp hour battery could do it. Maybe I could reach that. All right, right here is good. Regular four amp hour battery. All right, so ready, go. Time, it did it. All right, so the four amp hour and the four amp hour ultimate run, uh, ultimate output was successfully drilling that hole. And the two amp hour battery did not. It, it, now, it doesn't matter uh, because it, it didn't even drive it in an inch. The two amp hour battery, even though people say that it's, it, there's no difference between these two, the two amp hour failed. So, so far, the people are wrong that are saying that there is zero difference between a, a higher amp hour battery when it comes to doing a single task. I, I am very sorry, I do not have the XDR Cobalt yet, which I will be getting in the future, but we are gonna use the two amp hour battery and the extended run four amp hour battery. All right, so ready, go.
Right, let's take it out. Ready? Right, let's do the four amp hour battery. Oh, I forgot the, the belt clip. Need to be adjusted. All right, so ready? Go. Much better. Time. All right, let's take it out. All right, it is time for Makita. We, uh, we have a two amp hour battery. Sorry, I didn't sit, uh, show you on the cobalt. The battery is full and the battery is full on the five amp hour. So remember, this is about the battery, not the tool. So we're not saying a model number. All right, that's on drill. Speed two. Let's see if the two amp hour is able to do a one and a half, one and a half inch hole. All right, so ready? Go. All right, that, that's where it stopped. All right, to show you guys again. Nope, unable to. Why right, do I keep taking that out? All right, so the two amp hour failed. Let's go, let's finish it up with the five amp hour. All right, so ready, go. All righty. Five amp hour did it with in no time whatsoever. All right, so that's that. Two amp hour failed, five amp hour did it. Now remember, we're only doing one task. So the theory that there is no difference between these two in power is going out the window. Okay, here is good. All right, so ready, go. Take it out. Let's do the five amp hour. All right, so ready, go. Time, no, no contest. I could tell no contest. Next, we are gonna do Milwaukee. We have a two amp hour battery, battery, oh, that three bars. That's okay, because we're only doing one task. I know it's not gonna survive anyways. And the eight amp hour battery is fully charged. We got speed two, it is on, it's on drill. Right here should be good. All right, so, Ready, go. Nope, nope. All right, the two amp hour failed. Eight amp hour battery, high output. Now remember that failed, two amp hour failed. All right, ready, go. Time. All right, now just to show you, just for the people, all right, just for the people that say, well, it's a high amp hour, high output battery, that's why. Well, let's grab the regular five amp hour. <laughs> All right, we got the regular five amp hour right here. N not high output, not high demand. Battery is at three bars. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. Struggled at the, struggling at the end. It did it though. All right, so for the Milwaukee, that theory is false, that the, that, 
There is no difference in power between these two when doing a single task. So yeah, Milwaukee failed. The, the two amp hour failed. All right, the two amp hour battery and the eight amp hour battery. Battery's at three bars still. Ready, go. Wow, with with a two amp hour battery, holy crap! All right, but now let's do the this. All right, so ready, go. And ladies and gentlemen, the husky broke. I gotta admit that lasted a pretty long time. The Milwaukee. It lasted longer than I thought. All right, so let's continue. All right, so let's see what this can do. All right, so ready. Go. Wow. Time. <laughs> this Milwaukee is amazing. All right. Yeah. So my uh, my mic. I forgot to charge my mic, so I'm using the Ryobi charger, 40 volt charger, to charge that up while I use it. Actually, comes in pretty handy. All right, so we're doing DeWalt next. We have a 1.3 amp hour battery right here. You know what? We're, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it the same. We're using two amp hour batteries for everything else. So we'll use a two amp hour battery for the DeWalt. Two amp hour battery. Battery is full. We got it on speed two. All right, so right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. Pretty impressive for DeWalt, because remember we are using speed two, we are not using the highest speed setting. Let's continue. All right, so on do so far, the DeWalt is the only one that was able to do it with a two amp hour battery. All right, let's go to a six amp hour. All right, so ready, go. Yeah, I can tell that that shredded the time though. The, the, so, so far the two amp hour battery for the DeWalt was the only one to succeed in this task. Oh, that, that drill's majorly powerful. But we, what we are gonna do, we're gonna do one more. Actually, let's get a whole new piece of wood. Alrighty, so we got, a piece of uh, four by six right here. Same thing, just I have less space to do it when it comes to six inches. All right, we're gonna speed three. Speed three on the DeWalt. Do a single task. Two amp hour battery. See if the battery is still full. All right, so ready, go. All right, so far, like, yep. And like I said, so far, so far the DeWalt is the only one that is able to do this task with a two amp hour battery. Ready, go. And it stopped. Time. Speed three is a tough one for the DeWalt when it comes to, uh, this spe this specific drill now the power detect uh, Dewalt hammer drill does this faster than the Hilti can, and so far the only drill that beat the Hilti 
ha brushless hammer drill is the DeWalt Power Detect, which that's not this one, but DeWalt is the leading winner in the hammer drills. All right, so DeWalt's the only one so far that proved that it can do it, this task with a two amp hour battery. And right, so speed three, ready, go. time. All right, so let's do the six amp hour. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. take it out. Next is Ryobi. We have a two amp hour, no fuel gauge, and we have a nine amp hour. All right, let's see. I, I, I don't even think Ryobi uh, is able to do this with this hammer drill, but we will see. Speed two. All right, so ready, go. All right, nope. Speed two failed. You got a nine amp hour on there. All right, so ready, go. All right. Yep, and the nine amp hour succeeded. Now, like I said, you know, you got to give Ryobi a little bit more credit. It might not be the fastest, it might not be the most powerful, but it still gets the job done. I mean, a one and a half inch hole is a hard task to do when it comes to boring out the entire hole. I mean, like this, this is a crazy, uh, this is a crazy bit. All right, so Ryobi proved that a two amp hour battery cannot do a single task like a nine amp hour battery can. So, DeWalt's still the only one that proved that it can. Right here should be good. All right, so, ready, go. All And a little too far. Let's take that out a little bit. All right, let's get the six amp hour battery for the Ryobi. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Wow, this Tech Life Impact Rated Sock is going through a lot right now. So next is Rigid. We are going to use Rigid's hammer drill, speed two. It is on drill. I hate that side. I hate that side switch. I hate it. I'd rather have it be on top or in the clutch. All right, so the battery is full on the two amp hour. Let's see if Rigid is able to do it. All right, so ready, go. Nope. It's cutting, that's cutting out too many times. So the rigid, the two amp hour failed to do one task. All right, so ready, go. Time. It did it. So the six amp hour battery did it. Two amp hour battery right here is good. It is on the highest speed. All right, so ready, go.
Let's take it out. Over to the six amp power octane. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Now let's take it out. All right, so speed two is on drill. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready to, oh, sorry. Battery is full on the 2.6. The battery is full on the eight. All right, so ready, go. All right, so even Hilti, it's stopping. The Hilti is stopping. The 2.6 failed. Now let's see if what the 8 amp hour does. All right, so ready, go. Done. All right, so even with Hilti, the 2.6 doing a single task cannot do what the Hilti can with an 8 amp hour battery for a single task. Done speed three, where's that adapter? There you are. Right there is, right there is good. All right, so ready, go. All right, so ready, go. Time, oop, drove that in too much. There we go. Right here should be good. All right, so ready, go. All right, time. Uh, let's take it out. A huge difference doing one task between the two amp hour battery and the eight amp hour battery to do one task. Not duration, one task. That's amazing. And you can take that duration at like still three bars. So this, the higher amped hour batteries is now confirmed that you could get more power out of your tool with more amp hours. 18 volts is 18 volts. And like I said, what happens is with this line of cells, it cannot produce the power that it needs to because the cells inside, because there's only a few of them, get overstressed out and they give you less power than what you need. The more cells you have in the battery, the more cells uh, take the stress of the tool, drawing up power, and it's able to produce more, give, put out more power that's already there because the cells aren't as stressed as the two amp hours is because there's fewer cells. That's how it works, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, you do get more power out of the cells, the power that's already in the battery with a higher amp hour battery. And yes, there is a big difference between 18650 cells and 21700 cells. So for the people that say that there is, which it's a lot of people, I get a lot of comments. So for the ones that say that there is a zero difference besides duration and power between these two, there you go. This video proved it. It proved it in many ways. And we're also gonna do this, uh, do this again with recip saws. So like this is not the only video. And so like I said, this is a long video. So I think if you guys survived it this long, I thank you so much for uh, staying with me. So remember, please subscribe to Vince at VCG Construction. He did an awesome live stream of the new Ryobi Revolution line that's coming out. Uh, the compact series, I guess. So, so if you found this video helpful and fun to watch, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time.